Yeah, you I'm ready. ready? Mm -hmm. I'll call this meeting to order. Uh, it's uh, 1 o'clock on Wednesday, December the 13th. We're here to discuss uh, tax forgiveness uh, issue here with Michael McGibbon. Did I pronounce your last name right? Yes, thank you. McGibbon. Okay. And so I don't know who can start us off and explain what's going on here. Well, I probably can, means that I know a little bit more. Yeah. Um, got a split done at the beginning of the year. And uh, I've never actually, I have a bit visited this parcel since the, the split. Um, when I split that, I didn't change the grading on it. And it defaults to good. And not all of that land is good. Um, now, had the homeowner or the property owner called me in June, when they're supposed to, I could have addressed this and we moved into having this meeting right now. That's Explain kind of, the split to me again. Um, well, there was one big parcel got split into four or five smaller parcels. Okay. And uh, some of it's good because it's flat ground. And then the rest of it is pretty steep terrain going up the mountain. So in the last few days I've gone through and not only did I change the grading and correct the error, um, for his property, I did the. I had to look at the rest of those splits, those other parcels that were involved in that. So I needed to adjust those also. Um, I had no idea that the program defaults to good. Okay. So now I'm aware of that. So due diligence is putting forth on that. So um, with the with the corrections made on there, um, his original assessment came out at seven hundred and four thousand seven hundred and thirty two. I propose we move it to 259,340 for the grade change. The so proper change. grades? Yes, the proper grades are, are addressed. I was not the only one that went through this to double check to make sure we were doing this correctly. So um, mostly, you know, out of all the parcels that I do, I have 3,600 parcels. Is that all? That's a lot. It's a lot. So. Um, I kind of lean on the property owners to kind of call me if there's an error so that I can fix it before we get too far, before the before values get certified. So would we do a cancellation for that? Yeah. So that we're gonna, that's, would be the process if we... Right. Um, I'm just, I'm right recommend, recommending this because I cannot do nothing with this because this is certified value. Mm -hmm. So it's totally in your guys' hands on... Um, and you recommended changing it to what amount? Two hundred fifty-nine thousand, three hundred and forty. Three forty. Mm -hmm. And what was it in there? It was originally seven hundred four. Seven hundred four. Seven thirty-two. Okay. Michael, does that jive with what you were hoping for, or expecting today? Oh, I had no idea what to to expect. That, but yes, that tries with. Does that sound like a fair center, fair proposal for you? Mm -hmm. Okay. So process-wise, if we approve this amount that you recommended today, then we'd have to. Your office would do the paperwork with the treasurer's office to give him yes. official forgiveness. Yes. On the taxes. Okay. All right. Which would be as soon as next week, I guess, would be when they probably get that. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, would entertain a motion if you're interested. Okay. Yeah. Um, I will move to correct the error to the proper valuation so that we can. So I have I have two other forward. I have two other parcels here involved in that. I don't know if you guys want to go through those, but those are those were incorrect values also because it's the same split, same part of that that property. Let's do those separate. Okay, okay. different property owner. Yes. Okay. Let's yeah. just do those both, both of them are, yeah. Okay. So you want to do a tax forgiveness to uh, accept this corrected value at 259340 Yes. Okay. I'll second that. Any discussion? Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. So we fixed your issue for you there. Wow. Okay. Well, it helps with the assessor and everybody helping us out here getting this worked out. So Yes. Okay. Uh, really, James? Yeah. So I came to, to plead a case and it doesn't seem necessary, but my apology to you uh, and and to you folks 
that it's take you know board time is is it's a big deal you get a lots lots to do uh, and so I'll just give that to you as a, a formal apology um, I I failed I didn't um, communicate in a timely manner as I shared with uh, Jeff Zimmerman uh, and with Jerry White uh, I was just in a cascade of health crises and I was just getting unburied at home oh my goodness yeah, here it is, delivered on time by um, assessor's office. And Which was exactly my reaction when Jerry handed me the paperwork. You know, obviously a total surprise to, you know, it was a surprise to me too. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I just, you know, that's why we lean in the in the month of June, you know, because evaluations have already gone out. Um, you could pretty much have anybody call to draw it to my attention. You know, it doesn't matter who calls, I will look at it. It's my job. Okay. So, yeah, well, no complaint on my part whatsoever. So I, I fail, and I uh, appreciate the, the time that it's taken for everybody even before coming to this meeting. Absolutely. Well, if, if you want any of this, you're welcome to it. If you want, I think we're, we're good. We're yeah. good. Okay. Understood. Yeah, it's, and I spoke with the assessor a little earlier about this as well, so I think we've got it resolved. Wonderful. Bless you all. Thank you. Sure. Okay. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Sir. You bet. Nice to meet you. Very nice. Yes. Have you a too. Merry yep. Christmas. Yep. Nice you too. Nice to meet you. Okay. Now what else do you have in front of? Did you want to discuss with other parcels? Yeah. There's areas? there's two others. Um, Andy Neal's. Can you do that if they're not specifically mentioned on that? Because it does specifically say the McGivens. I just don't want to. Oh. Right. I was just told to bring this in and kind of. Well, we can't take lit. action on it, but okay. we could at least hear what he's got and okay. then decide what we need to do. So there's two others that would need to be adjusted. Correct, because they are part of the same split. Andy Neal's. Yep. And what would the adjustment need to be there? Um, you want both numbers? Yeah. Okay. So their assessment was four thousand, uh, four hundred ninety-two thousand, five hundred and twelve. Mm -hmm. I recommend that it goes to 190,342. Okay. The second piece. Croach Farrell LLC. Okay. Their assessment was 326,339. I propose. Sixty-five thousand three hundred two. And they have they contacted you, or you just found the errors yourself I, after I, this? I had discovery. to double check because it was part of the split. And being that this error happened, I was afraid that it happened to okay. the rest of those. Okay. So, so um, technically, I think we will have to put that on the agenda for next week. Are you around next week? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'll have to put those on the agenda. So by name, and we can put them in one meeting, but we just need to list those two by name so we can officially take action. Monday or Tuesday be better, but I don't know about your guys' stuff, but I still have Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday okay. Monday, I'm in bit of one, so yeah. Tuesday we can try and do something. Okay, I still have Clarky to inspect, and I'm I'm still trying to get down there and get it done. I would have been down there today, but yeah. Well, will Tuesday work then? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, then let's do that Tuesday. Okay. Okay. Meeting adjourned.